Hi guys! In today's video, we will be making this cute pastel doll wig. This was inspired by some of the very colorful fashion out of the Harajuku area in Japan. And there's a lot of styles to choose from, so you can also choose the one that you find the most interesting. If you like, you can also add a lot of decoration to the actual wig to be ribbons, hair clips, whatever you like. But I chose to just kept it this way because I thought it really suited my doll. I made this wig for my BJD doll, but you can also make it for a Barbie, Monster High, whatever kind of doll you like, as long as you remove the original hair. I'll be using yarn for this wig, which I'll show you how to prepare. But if you have a preference for any other doll hair, you can just use that. Firstly, we need to make the wig cap. For this, you're going to need some kitchen film or plastic to cover the doll's head, a bit of stretchy fabric, I'm using a jersey, and then you need some glue. Start by covering the doll's head in the plastic. Then you want to lay the jersey or whatever stretch fabric you're using on top and try to smooth it out a little. Secure it with a rubber band and then again smooth out the fabric to avoid any big folds. Once it's all secure and as smooth as you can get it, looking like a very strange hat, then you want to take your glue and start spreading that a layer all over. And instead of using a brush, which usually gets ruined by the glue, I like to use this silicone sculpting tool because it's easy to clean. Allow that to dry before spreading on a second layer. Once that's completely dry, you want to cut away the rubber band and cut away any excess fabric. And that's our basic wig cap ready. I'll be using 100% acrylic yarn for my wig, but if you have any other doll hair, just skip right ahead to making webs. Start by cutting a bunch of pieces, approximately twice the length you want the actual hair to end up being. Then you want to tie the strings onto something side by side. Then you want to brush it out until it's all detangled and fluffy. Then I separate a few strands at a time and flatten them using my iron for my hair. And I sit it on the lowest setting. And that's our doll hair ready. Now onto the webs. I spread out a plastic bag on my work surface, and then I spread out a bit of the hair next to each other, and I try to keep my webs fairly thin. Then I hold the hair down with my hand to keep it in place, and use again my silicone tool to work in glue in a line at the top, and I do it as neatly as I can. Once dry, flip it over to the other side and I glue there as well to make sure none of the hair will go loose. When that's completely dry, you want to cut off any excess glue and then the webs are ready. I 
I added a bit of kitchen film beneath the wig cap again just to make sure I didn't get glue on my doll. And then I added a bit of fresh glue onto the bottom weft and added that to the bottom of the neck. Keep adding layers until you're happy with the fullness of the loose hair. Then I added small pieces of weft going towards the front of the face to be sort of long swept away bangs, but if you want to you can also make straight bangs. And this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to take another piece of kitchen film and we're actually going to wrap this around the hair that we've added now to separate this bottom layer from the next we're going to add, which is going to go up into one of the buns. Now we're going to add whiffs of hair on top of what we've already done, punding downwards. Also a whiff going on top of the bangs we've already done, and then one going in the opposite direction of the part. Now you're going to add another layer on top of what we've just done, but pointing the other direction. Once the hair's dry, you can gather it in a little pigtail to keep it out of the way. Then you want to repeat the same steps for the other side. And there. Now you can remove the plastic, securing the bottom layer, and style the buns however you like. And yeah, as I said in the beginning, you can add a lot more decoration if you want to make it even cuter, but I honestly really like the style as it is. So here's the finished look. I also swapped out the eyes of the doll, going from green, which she usually wears, to these glitter blue, which I made for this specific look, because I thought the lighter eyes really complement the pastel cute look of the wig. And I think the wig and star really looks good on the doll, because it has a very sweet face sculpt. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!